Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is part of a series that I'm doing on setting up and packing down the van whilst we're away. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you through the storage and where we put things in our van and also how we pack it down when we're leaving the caravan park. This is a little different to our previous videos, but this has been something that has been requested that we do on the channel. So if you're interested, stick around, otherwise there'll be other videos coming out soon that cover what to see and do in Scamander. Okay, so the cupboard nearest the stove under the seat contains the heat pump or air conditioner. We've never actually used it to cool the van. We have used it to heat it and it does a great job of that. There are three vents in the van, two underneath the table and one near the bed. And the warm air that comes out of that is sufficient enough for a very cold Tasmanian winter. Having this unit does mean we have no storage underneath this seat, but we do have another power point there if we really, really need it. This smaller cupboard to the right houses all of our pantry items, all of our canned goods, bread, chips, you name it, it's in there. Apart from the fridge, this is the only place that we store food in our van. This long narrow cupboard in the middle is problematic in that you can't get to it very easily. It does have a door underneath the table that you can get to from the bottom. This doesn't have anything in it apart from a few hanging items that Jeff's left there since our last Bathurst trip, so we don't use this cupboard much at all. It is also filled with some of the tubing from the air conditioning. The cupboard to the left probably houses a lot of our leisure items so in here I've got DVDs, I've got games, I have the headlamps, headsets, torches, smaller electrical items, solar charger, some ponchos and other bits and pieces. I also find that these big hooks work really well to keep the cupboards open. I could put in hydraulic lifts but this stage this is working fine. Moving to the drawer unit, the bottom one is actually a flip out cupboard and in there I've got some additional cutlery, bowls, bits and pieces. The next drawer up was Jeff's drawer. He um, had a bunch of items in there. It's now turned into one of those messy third drawer type situations. And the top drawer is our plates and cutlery and we've nailed that down to two of each which really saves on space and washing up. The storage area under the seat nearest the door has also got a lot of items in there. We've got our pots and pans, toaster and so forth. I have got additional tools, um, things for the Weber, um, little vacuum cleaner. So again, it's just a whole bunch of items that we may or may not need whilst we're camping. I realised when editing this I'd missed out on the other side underneath the sink there's the microwave. There's another little fold out cupboard underneath that and that's where we house all of our toiletries. If you're wondering where we keep our clothes, they're in suitcases on the back seat of the car. That works really well for us and saves us having to have clothes all throughout the van. Hi everyone, it is Tuesday morning. We've stayed an extra night here at Scamander and we're just having a little bit of breakfast as we're packing up. Come on in, Jeff. A bit more in here. That's it. And then we're going to pack down the van. So it's in a very almost in that state at the moment but um we'll run you through basically i've just folded up everything popped it on the bed we've locked all of the, the windows with the latches put the, the vents down um, so that they're not left up or disconnected during the drive home and um, i'm about to go through the pantry and just pull out anything that might be in a packet not a tin and they can go back in the pantry at home for next time and just take everything out of the fridge and give it a good wipe down. So I've got everything out of the fridge, popped it back into the esky which is in the back of the car. Make sure I switch the fridge off and also turn it right down at the other end, give it a good old wipe through. We haven't been able to use the hot water, we have a leak down where you can see that tea towel so that needs to get sorted out. While I've got the bed up I make sure that I turn everything off and then I can store and start packing everything back where it needs to go in this space. That includes putting things like the fan back into the box, um, the aerial packed down into its tube again, collapsing any chairs or tables that need to go in under there as well. So this is our pack down check. Got everything out of the bed, everything turned off, the electrical cord has been pushed back through. And everything a bit 
clean and wipe. And we store that stuff under the table during travel time. I put the broom in front of the fridge. We found that it opened up a couple of times because this clip isn't working. So we've got all the windows locked, hoods down. So we're just about ready to um, yeah, pop the top. And to do that, first I unclip these and get them ready. Bed down and then I can put the sides down. Can't take the awning off until it's all down and collapsed. So I'll just put this side down. You have to push up the sides. And this is the hard bit because I don't think I can do this one by myself. Give it a crack. slide the awning off which is really easy just like that and but I unhook the hook first and then that just comes off like this So while Jeff is hitching the trailer, I do a bit of a walk around just to make sure that everything's been packed away and everything's been locked down properly. And sadly, it's time to depart. Thanks for sticking around and watching the three videos that we had about our Avan. We hope that you've enjoyed them. As I said, they're a little bit different to the videos that we usually produce. So let us know how we did in the comments. I really like to hear your feedback. If there is anything else that you would like to know about the Avan, also pop that in the comments so that we can help out there as well. Our next video is going to be all about showing you in and around the Skamanda area. We're doing a few things different this time. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Seven minutes before lockout time.